guys want to see my shirt. Being broke is not an option. So all you got to do is go to your local mall. That's where I got it from. You could go to like your local mall and tell them that you want a shirt <laughs> made with this saying on there. That's it. So if you guys are going to ask me, oh, Tanisha, where you get the shirt from? Go to the mall, your mall, wherever you live at, and get a shirt made. Very, very simple, guys. So <clears throat> here's what I want you guys to understand. When people say they can't afford stuff. Now, this is for people that are coaches and you are trainers or, you know, you're trying to build a business and you're trying to... Uh, you know, get people to buy your products and people are like, oh, I can't afford it. Oh, um, you know, I got to get wait to get paid. Oh, I got to wait, uh, you know, because my child, you know, their, their graduation and, you know, I got rent to pay and, you know, blah, blah, blah. People give so many sob stories, right? You know, as a business owner and trying to build a business, you're going to come across, like, for real, a lot of people. And we have to understand that, you know, you are in business to help those who want to be helped. Not those who you have to try to convince that need helping, right? We, we are in business to help those that want help. Not the ones that we think need help because you will never build a successful business. So this is why it is so critical that you start to understand marketing, that you understand how marketing works. Because if you never take the time to understand marketing, advertising, branding, attraction marketing, adding value, you're going to always, and this is, you know, for me too, you know, you're going to always be chasing people who you think need your product and service. No, you'll never win like that. You'll never win like that. Never. <laughs> you will never win like that. I'm sorry. If you continue, like I said, this is for people who are trying to build a business. And you are struggling, okay? The reason people struggle is because they're trying to get everybody that needs it and not positioning themselves for the people that actually want it. See, this is where I failed at, okay? This is where I failed major, okay? This is where I failed majorly. I'm talking to all the Indian people. They ain't got no money. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm talking to friends and family. Like, they ain't got no money. All right? So you got to understand positioning, guys. We're not in a non-profit. Right? This, this business is not, especially MLM and coaching. Coaching and MLM, guys, is not a non-profit. Right? We're in for profits. So if you're talking to everybody who you feel needs your coaching... And they don't feel they need it for themselves or need your product. You'll never build a business, right? So when people say they can't afford it, right? All they're saying is that I, I don't see the value in spending a thousand and spending a hundred and spending five hundred and spending ten thousand dollars with you right now. Now that's not saying. The people won't ever want your service, but I'm not chasing folks who need it. Or I'm not chasing anybody, right? So this is why people are struggling. And guess what? I had to overcome all of that. Because in business, nobody tells you nothing, right? In MLM, nobody tells you nothing. Oh, talk to all your family and friends. Okay, well, all your fucking family and friends, they live in check to check. And they damn sure don't see no value in you. They damn sure don't see no value in, uh, you know, uh, getting your coaching or getting, you know, your product or service. They damn sure don't. So you cannot talk to family and friends. It is crazy. Now, family and friends will support you to a point. 
after the point is over, there's no more support. Okay. So it's critical, guys, that you understand marketing, advertising, building your own tribe, finding the people that want your service, that want your tea. People buy tea from me every day because they want my tea. Not I'm trying to get them because, oh, I need I know they need to detox. So let me call Stacy and say, hey, Stacy, I sure I saw you join my list. Do you need tea? No, because it's going to be too hard of a sell. You're trying to sell them. No. See, people love to buy. People love to buy, but they hate to be sold. They hate They hate for someone. That's everybody. Me too. I hate for someone to keep trying to sell me. Oh, you should get this. You should get this. You should get this. You should get this. Oh, this is the best, 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 best. This is the best. No. Right? No. All right? So for all you guys who are trying to be coaches, who are trying to, you know, build a business... You know, stop chasing people who need this. Could ain't interested. Focus on the people who want it. If you got five people that want it, focus on those five. Opposed to trying to prospect to 20 people who need it and they don't even see the value in getting your product or your service. Don't do it. It's a waste of time. Right, so I'm only interested. I'm sitting up because this thing is in the way. I'm only interested in people that want to do what I'm doing, and this, which you should be interested in too, as a leader, as a coach, as a mentor, as a if you're in business by default, you are a leader because you're doing something that no one else has done. You're doing something that ain't none of your, your friends doing, ain't none of your co-workers doing, ain't none of your family doing. So you're a leader by default, right? You're a leader that's looking for people to get on your boat. You're a leader looking for people to get on your boat, right? Remember Moses? He says it's going to rain. He told everybody, up. Oh. Better get on this boat shit Because it's going to rain And then when it rains It's going to be too late Right So you're only looking for people That want to get on your boat Because the people that want to get on your boat Will help you steer the boat Because they want to get on it Not people who need to get on your boat Because as soon as they get on your boat They are helping your boat to sink See Totally different Right, so I'd rather spend two hours with somebody who want it, right, than spend a minute with somebody who who I think need it. So again, so this was for people that are trying, because I know there's a lot of people out there trying to be a coach, trying to be a mentor, trying, you know, to uh, you know, build a six. I have a six figure consulting business, right, <laughs> for my car, <laughs> literally. You know what I'm saying so. Peop there's people that's trying to make four figures, three figures. You know what I'm saying? So stop chasing the people who you think need it. Only people that want your service and product is who you should be spending time with. Period. Okay? People can't afford. Guess what? They just don't see the value. <laughs> it's my husband. <laughs> Um, only the people, guys, that want it. Like, I am not interested in chasing people for nothing. If you fat and know your fat ass need to lose weight, I'm not going to call you and say, well, you know you're fat. You know you need to lose some motherfucking weight. No. You're going to come to me and say, Tanisha, you know I want it. Because now, once you already have the desire to get it, I'm going to show you how. And then guess what? If you get results from my coaching, my training, my products, my service, whatever, guess what? You're going to come back. Then it's like stealing candy from a baby. Then I don't have to live on a prayer or a hope or a wish, right? All I'm doing is positioning myself, right? So a lot of you struggling to get sales. A lot of you struggling to, uh, you know, build your business. A lot of you are struggling to get people in. Right? <laughs> All you got to do, guys, is learn 
how to position yourself. And then it becomes like stealing candy from a baby. This is why I got my boot camp. Once it's over, once tonight the doors close, please don't call me. Don't text me and say, oh, Tanisha, please, I just got the money to get in. Please don't do that because you won't get in. You can pay me $1,000 after it's over. It's going to be six weeks. So that means um, the first week in December, it is over. So you can wait to the first week in December and pay me $1,000 because it's going to go to $1,000. Okay, it's going to be a six-week program, right, with 20 hours worth of Instagram content, right, and a 30-minute coaching call, right, for $1,000. So... Yes, <laughs> you can pay me $1,000 because if you don't get in the next three hours or by 930 tonight, do not text me, do not call me, do not email me asking to get in because the button is going to turn to 997 come 930. I'm going to have my people do it tonight. So you can say, oh, Tanisha bluffing. Okay, well, you bluffing. <laughs> you bluffing. Right? You could pay me the $9.97, which I don't care. Or you could pay the $200 now. Save $800. Okay? The wish and the prayer life is over. It's time to take action and start working so you can really live your best life. Okay? So when people say they can't afford, guess what, guys? They just don't see the value in what you have. Because guess what? There's people that got $2 in the bank rocking Chanel. People got $5 in the bank, got Louis Vuitton on, right? People got buy Jordans. It's single fucking mothers struggling day in and day out, but their kids got $300 Jordans on. They got polo on. Y'all living in the fucking projects with no water. But your kids is fly to death. So you see the value in Jordan. You see the value in Louis Vuitton. You'll go broke for Jordan. You'll go broke for Louis Vuitton. You'll go broke for Gucci. But you won't go broke for yourself. It's the craziest thing. I'm telling you, man, people, people do the craziest fucking things, man. And I got to get ready for my photo shoot. Shit, I need a whole new photo shoot for my brand, for my message. Right, so people can see, wow, this lady doing something in her life, right, that I want to be a part of and I want to follow. I'm going to rock this fucking CBD. Y'all going to see. I'm going to rock this fucking CBD. Y'all think this shit is a fucking game? I made one million with this CBD. Mark my word. It's either you getting on a boat. Or, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Rockwithtanisha.com. CBDHealthOil.net.